Welcome back to Business Help. In this video, we're going to be going over the Excel. We're going to go more in depth into the Excel here. We're going to have a tutorial series here, which uh, you can uh, access and follow along with if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also like this video. And then also check out our website. It's going to be in the comments below. Check that website out for subscribers only, so make sure you subscribe. There's many different things on there, such as other worksheets, other Excel tutorials, many other content, much more content to go on there. So make sure to check that out. So now let's get to our video here. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to make this and how to use our VLOOK, VLOOKUP for, uh, function as well as uh, we're going to format this. So this is going to be the first video of a series here. This is going to be going in more in depth than our basic Excel series like that we had last time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. But first off, we're going to go ahead and make this. We're going to go ahead and merge and send it. We're going to go ahead and merge cells across. It's going to be right here in this section. And we're going to go ahead and hit the center button right here. It's going to be in the center alignment section. All right, so now those are all merged and centered. Now let's go ahead and make them, let's make them a title. Or so make them heading four. You go here to the, Styles, hit the drop down and hit click on heading four. So now I got that. Now we're going to go ahead and format this section here as a table. So we're going to click the highlight all this. We're going to hit the for, format as table button. Click the drop down and we're going, to, we're going to use this color. You can use any color here. We're going to use that color. If you want to follow along, I'd use the same colors so that we can compare the work at the end. So now we're going to go over here to the discount amount. We're going to turn this into a table too. Just highlight it all. Same steps and we're going to use the same table there. All right, we're, now we're just going to go here. We're just going to get rid of all that. All right, so now we got that. So now we're going to go to, and we're going to format this all together. So we're going to use a page layout. We're going to go to themes. We're going to create a theme here for it. We're going to use the faucet theme. All right, so now it changes everything and changes our fonts, makes them all uniform. So now, as we can see here, now we got all this. So now we have our price per item because we're going to go calculate our original price here. We got a price per item here. Let's just go to the home category. We're going to switch this to accounting format. So our numbers. We're going to go up here to the number area. We're going to click on the accounting number format. So now it's going to change that automatically for us. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to calculate our original price. So original price is going to be our quantity times our price per item. So we're going to go hit the equal sign on your keyboard. We're going to click on the cell B5. And then we're also going to click at times the cell right here. Hit enter. So now it got that for us. But instead, with K4, if we just drag it all the way down, it's going to have issues for us. We're going to hit, have to hit the F4 key on your keyboard. That way it goes ahead and makes it and locks that here. So we're going to go K4. We're going to hit the F4 button. So now we're going to hit enter. And now it's going to go oh, and automatically do all these for us. Because here in a table, once you once you highlight this and use a formula, it's going to automatically do it for the whole thing. It makes it real easy. You don't have to drag it down. That's why we formatted this as a table first. So now to calculate our discount percent. Because as we can see over here, if we spend $100, we get a 10% discount. We spend $250, we get a 15% discount, and so on. So we're going to go ahead and calculate this. So how we're going to do that, we're going to go over to the formulas tab. We're going to click on the lookup and reference. We're going to hit the drop down on that. And we're going to be going to something called the VLOOKUP. So we're going to be using the VLOOKUP. We're going to click on that. All right, so your lookup value. You're going to be going to, your lookup value is going to be your original price. You're going to click that for your original price. Then you're going to go to table array. Your table is going to be over here. And we're going to make sure when we do that, we're going to hit the F4 key as well. So we don't even need to because it's already a table. If it wasn't formatted as a table, we wouldn't have to hit the F4 key. And the column we want is we're going to want the first, we're going to want the second column to display. So we're just going to leave this last column blank here. As you can see, as all formatted right here. But we do have an issue. With this one that's below 9, it's... It doesn't calculate because there's it's ninety dollars. It doesn't have anything to go off of here. So we're gonna go ahead and just change this to zero, and we're gonna give it a zero percent discount. All right, so now it automatically changes everything over here as well. 
So now to calculate our discount in dollars, we're going to hit our equal sign. We're going to do our original price times our discount percentage. All right, so now that automatically goes and calculates all of that for us. And our final price here, we're going to hit our equal sign, do our original price, hit the minus sign, and hit the discount in dollars, and it's going to calculate all of our finals here. So now, how do we see how much revenue we actually made here, how much sales we actually made? So we can easily do this by adding a totals column. We're going to go ahead and right-click on our chart. We're going to go down here to the table section. We're going to add, click on the totals range. So now I just added a totals range for us, and it's nice and easy to calculate. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure you hit subscribe. Check our website out, as well as our other social medias down in the uh, comment section. And we'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.